Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and um, we're doing some guides uh, on Sense 5 on the HTC One, and uh, now it's time to look at um, HTC TV. Um, this is where um, they've created their own app. It's very much like Peel, uh, where it uh, uses the uh, infrared, which is part of the power, which is inside the power button that sends out um, IR signals to your TV or um, AV receivers and or ca cable box um, uh, satellite uh, receiver. And let's just go right into it, and we'll walk you through the setup here. Um, the app is simply called TV. So go ahead and press that. This is the initial setup, and uh, you got to select your location. And I'm in the United States. I will go ahead and click next or tap next. Then it's uh, punch in your zip code, and uh, go ahead and hit next. And then it's a matter of selecting um, what you get for service. A uh, bunch of choices here, but I know I'm with DirecTV. And uh, I'll go ahead and tap Next. Now this is where you can favorite um, some channels. And um, you can um, check um, you know, which channels you get. Or in a sense, since all of them are checked, you can uncheck them or you can start with unselecting all of them. Um, obviously there might be a lot of channels that you don't subscribe to like HBO or something but um, for some or some of them weren't unchecked actually were left unchecked um, I believe that's those are pay-per-views um, but most of the regular channels um, are checked so we're gonna leave what they have and just go ahead and tap next now it's asking if you uh, subscribe to Hulu Plus, Crackle, or Watch. That's HTC's Watch, which has uh, movies in it. And this is a reason because when you do searching for a TV show or something, uh, this will be part of your search. So you'll be able to watch um, in any of these services. Uh, so if you search for Ocean's Eleven and it happens to be on Watch, uh, to you know, like that you can download, you can, you know, say rent or download, uh, but it's not on your satellite TV for a day or so, you can select to use Watch. I'm just going to go ahead and forget that right now, and just hit Next. And now here you can select some of your favorite shows that you like to watch, um, or and you can also choose, uh, you know, search for some shows. But they give you some popular shows now. I'll just go ahead, for example, per, you know, uh, purposes, select some of these shows that I do watch. Um, and Modern Family, that's good enough. We'll go ahead and finish. And then, you know, you're going to accept the privacy agreement. No big deal. You know, it's gonna capture what you're watching for TV, what you like, what channels you're going to. So you're gonna, you know, agree to that. If you're all nervous about that good stuff, then I guess hit back, get out, and forget about it. Um, so now we're in, um, and um, right away they're showing me, um, you know, shows that are recommended based on what I had for some tastes. Not sure how they came up with it or not, but these are uh, shows um, that are on right now at the top. And down here is coming up next. And then down here, I think, is the social feed. It's still loading right now. Um, I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi, but this 4G might be a little slow. Okay, so here's instructions. Um, so you find your program based here, which I'll get into, um, and you can use the phone's volume buttons for the volume once you get your TV and stuff set up. Um, so there's some videos actually from my social feed, um, and again these are shows that are airing now. You can also flick um, and see shows that are coming up for this week that are recommended, and um, my videos which are on the device. And then you can also uh, set up um, reminders. So now let's go back over here to the main page. And you can also go in and select by um, movies. So you can just you know look at what's on for movies right now. 
and then of course you get the cover art for a lot of stuff. The one thing that's interesting about this is um, if you have all the channels selected and something's on say HBO but you're not a subscriber of HBO um, then it's going to be a problem. Um, if it's on now also you don't get information it wants to change the channel on it. Um, right now it's I don't know if you noticed that light flashing. That's for sending an IR signal, which isn't set up. So, um, but that's what it would do. If it's a show that is, you know, later on, you get more information on it. Uh, you can also go in and, you know, do it for sports. You can check your social. And you can also go into the whole channel guide. And um, this is on right now, every channel. And what it will do is... Um, you can also select, you know, wh which ones are favorites, and they'll tell you that if it's a favorite and not going on here. Now, you can also go into settings here and change, um, if you didn't do anything with the favorites or channels, show or hide channels, this is how you would get back um, to unchecking any channels or favoriting them. If you favorite um, any channels, it's going to come up as recommended because obviously it's something you like. So if you put CNN on there or sports, ESPN, then it's going to those are things that are going to show up in the recommended, just like favorite shows. Um, back out of that, and you can also um, look at favorites, and you know those are your shows that you have favorites. You can always change that and choose more favorites. You know, search for shows. And you can change the provider information, and of course HD preferred if you know if you want your channel, uh, you know, to be HD of choice. So enough of that. Let's uh, go into. Well, let's just go back to recommended. Now, if you push this button here, you'll have the option now to set up devices, and uh, let's go right in. Um, remote one is the, uh, you can set up a bunch of different remotes that include multiple devices, but most people aren't going to need more than one, maybe for different rooms in your house. So we'll just go, with, you can name this whatever you want, living room or whatever, just leave that as remote one. And then you can check off what you want. You want your cable box or home theater um, as well, you can go ahead uh, and check them. I'm going to go ahead and check them now. And um, you can see that uh, there's a number of devices at the beginning. But there's a number of devices all the way through. Lots of them, but the most popular ones are at the top. Now, one thing that's unique about this is you're not going to put in, like, a lot of remote controls, like, say, Logitech. Um, and I think even the Peel, from what I remember, I don't, uh, I'm not sure I do remember for sure, but you would put in your model number. With this, I don't think it's going to ask for it. Uh, I'm going to just gonna, next, I'm going to select Panasonic for the TV. Now it just says make sure your TV is turned off, then tap next to test it, and then you're going to go through different codes. If it doesn't find it, um, then basically what you're going to have to do learning remote where you aim your current remote at the IR and for each button and press the button and learn. So no matter what, you'll always be able to come up with something. But um, let's move over to the, to the TV and, and um, see how well this, this goes. I have fairly new equipment, but let's see how, how easy it goes. All right, so now I'm in front of my TV. And the TV is off, although I have sound from my AV receiver, if you can hear it. And I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And it say turn on TV. And that's the test of code. If it didn't work, we'd go to the next one. The TV is going to come on. It's warming up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit yes. Now we're going to select the cable brand. I can search or take something. We're going to go Direct TV, which we already I know selected earlier, so it should kind of already know that. But and then the uh, the well, it didn't ask you to check it, so I guess it just knows what it's doing. And then for the home theater, which is the AV receiver, Onkyo, next. Okay, make sure your your theater is turned off, and then tap next. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off my receiver. Okay, receiver's turned off. 
hit next and it did work on the first try so that's going to come on alright so I'm going to go ahead and hit yes here and now the setup is successful so that's good to go alright so now we're back at the main guy here and uh, I'm watching right now the Red Sox which is on Nesson and um, right now just to give you an example again if we go in the recommended I can select now this should work well I normally work we use an RF remote so my satellite receiver is not in this room but I put up a temporary IR uh, receiver and we'll go ahead and and I just selected how I met your mother and it's going right to it works perfectly so that's it in a nutshell now let's just check the volume uh, the volume is on the side and I'm hold I'm pushing that and the volume is moving so that works perfectly so now I can also go in here and hit this remote button again instead of going to setup it actually gives me the remote um, and I also have, um, I can punch in, punch in numbers, so say I want to switch to, I know ESPN is 206, um, it's going to switch right to it, so it um, works pretty good. Um, I can also go into some of my DVR type settings with play and stuff, and I can go into my list of programming and hit record, but I cannot set a recording. A little bit of a negative here is that it doesn't call up the full remote for my direct TV. I would think you'd be able to put codes in and get that, but just generic stuff. Um, so to me, that's a, a little bit of a downer. You also can't set up macros for turning off your home theater, um, you know, turning like everything off at the same time and putting everything in the right input like you can do with a lot of programmable remotes. should be able to do something like that with this. This is an Android phone. It's got lots of sophistication. You can't do it. Um, so you can go out here and then go in and, and look at shows. The other thing I notice is when you do a search, a lot of times games aren't listed correctly. Um, let's just go to sp sports. And like I was searching for the Red Sox game earlier and because it wasn't like on ESPN it just was listed as MLB baseball so you couldn't really find it didn't have the proper information so that's something that can probably improve like right now even that Red Sox game I was watching isn't really on um, on here at all um, it's probably somewhere it could be this here let's see if that actually goes to it Oh, actually, I think it, let me try it again. Oh, it's actually going to ESPN again, which is where I was. So, um, in any event, it's pretty cool. Um, it's the HTC TV, um, and also if you want to power down, you can hit this power button here, and you can go ahead and hit, um, pin, you know, for either of the items, hit on or off. Um, as you you can see and or change the inputs but you can't go directly to HDMI 1, 2 or 3 or anything you have to actually go through them but when you hit the input so, so you can do that change some things so it's a little awkward but I think it's probably best to use um, for just like changing channels and stuff not really getting full blown into your home theater um, and I think that's really where it would, would come out good to kind of look at what's on TV and then quickly tune it if you if you really want to. It's just another remote to have if you've got your phone on you, which it probably will. So anyways, that's it. Um, that's the HTC TV. I hope this tutorial helps you get started with it. Or if you did get started with it and you're a little confused, hopefully it helped you as well. So look for our other guides as well. If you just got the HTC One, we have a great one on the Zoe and video highlights and all about Sense 5 and the changes um, and also on Blink Feed. So check them out. Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.